Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video I want to talk about Blood Death Knight. I'm happy to say that HS Replay stats are out and the theorycrafted version of Blood Death Knight that I built before the expansion launched is clearly by far the best performing Blood Death Knight deck in the game, so yay for that. Although for that version I think there's still some upgrades that can be done and that's what I want to talk about here. This list that I have here, this is the list that I actually played on day one. This was made based on my experiences in the Theory Crafting event, but the list that actually got popular was the previous version. And there is one super clear improvement that you can do, the previous version. In the previous version I played with Sylvanas, the accused, but in this version I include Zola the Gorgon instead, and that is, that's a clear improvement. So you definitely want to play with Zola instead of Sylvanas if you still had Sylvanas in your list. But other than that, in the live livestreams I came to the conclusion that Nerubian Vizier would be better than Venomous Corbid, that the 2-4 stats and the potential to get the discount on the spell would be better than poisons from Venomous Corbid. However, current HS replay stats don't quite support that. They actually seem to claim that Venomous Corbid is the superior card to Nerubian Vizier. So while in this list I'm playing with Nerubian Viziers, but you might consider playing with those Venomous Corbids instead. So that would mean that from my original list it's only changed Sylvanas into Zola and that's perfection. Or is it perfection? Looking at the current performance of the theorycrafted list, it is the most popular Ballad Dead Knight list as well, couple thousand games played, so we have pretty good sample size. Heart Strike is the weakest card in the deck. But can Heart Strike be replaced? Because of course you could replace Heart Strike with Scorbid or Vizier, and that would give you a kind of a hybrid between these two decks. However, Vicious Syndicate, they also advocated originally for Heart Strike, but they changed their mind and on day one they played a list without Heart Strike. Both of those lists also have pretty decent samples, and in those lists the one without Heart Strike is actually performing worse. So even though Heart Strike is the worst card in the list that Vicious Syndicate made, and that's by far worse than the deck that I built, then still the deck without Heart Strike seems to be doing even worse, so I'm not certain whether Heart Strike can be replaced. But that would be one consideration for potential future upgrades. But other than that, the deck seems pretty solid indeed. And I played with this version, with the Viziers and with Zola, and this is what that version looks like in action. Alright, let's go. They don't even have 40 health. What kind of what kind of death knight doesn't even have 40 health? I guess it's some kind of frosting. Then they're going to kill me. Straight for the dome. It's always straight for the dome, isn't it? Rawr, rawr, yeah, rawr. <laughs> Diano, hey. How's it going? Soul breaker sounds good. Let's use that. But I definitely getting some frost vibes from this. Yep, definitely getting some frost vibes here. So I would need some vampiric bloods. Let's see how on point my discoverer game is tonight. Not good. Discover a game not on point. 35 isn't that much. We frost got some good spells going. Yep, yep. Plenty of hand space. Vampiric blood? Nope. No vampiric blood. No vampiric blood is definitely a problem. This is going to blast me down. Needed some healing. Yes. 
Mutants is not helping. I would need a no muncher, vampiric blood, one of those healing cards. Pick me, pick me. Frost swarm cards can't heal me up. Nope, they cannot. I need to draw. I would have needed more healing. Well, there's a no muncher. It heals me up a little, at least. Okay. It heals me up a little. Too bad it goes down to one health, so it's really easy for the Frost Death Knight to kill. I can get five armor from Astalor. Okay. There's Vampiric Blood. Sire's going to heal me up in a while. I can asphyxiate after I ask the lore. That would be seven mana. Seven mana is fine. Ask the lore kills that. Asphyxiate kills the minion. Vampiric blood heals me up. Nine cards in hand, all right. I have 12 damage from Sire and 12 healing. Will they have? Will they have the damage? Now they have five corpses, so they can use the marrow. The marrow thing. Ren does not double the armor gain. That's nothing. All good so far. Is there a way for me to save the Sire until later? Five more, these are five damage. Maybe I can save the Sire for next turn. Maybe. Let's see. If I survive this turn... I should be fine thanks to the Sire. I think. There's going to be 16 damage. And 16 healing. We'll see. Standard packs have been disabled. Really? Oh dear. Do I need to kill this in advance? I should be fine. Well, here I will now have to kill that. Alright, so I'm at 43. But I also don't have a way to kill them next turn. Because this is only 16 damage and there's also minions on the board. There's going to be another Frostworm's Fury probably now. Setting up for lethal for next turn. Freezing the Sire here. That's how I think this is going to go. Here they're trying to set up a lethal. Do what the living cannot. 
There's seven and I have five. All right, do they have 32 from hand? Can they even have 32 from hand? They have spent quite a few spells here. I, am low on I think we're true. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Phew. That was a little scary against decks like that, but... Hey. Okay. Two Astalors and a Sire. That's still enough damage. I really don't know. Not a quest hunter. So, could be... Could be just one that bounces back and deals tons of damage with the... Okay. Well, Renatal was a surprise. Oh, it's not a hunter at all. It's a rogue. Well, that explains things. Thief rogue, then, I suppose. Alright. Sketchy. Okay. Well, let's get to work. I swear is probably the least useful secret they could have had. That's a piece of good news, I suppose. Our spider tank is ready. Finley. Well, now they definitely have some cheap gnolls. There's one of them. Many potential approaches to killing it. I guess I can just death strike that. And hit hit the Finley away. Rest easy, child. You are safe now. Well, that's awkward. The citadel stands strong. Well, I can at least take away the divine shield. Get to work on the armor a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. Can they have something like kidnap? What are the rogue secrets that they run? Double cross, okay. I don't remember what perjury does. What does perjury even do? Oh yeah, it discovers another secret. Well, we got rid of putricide, which reduces the value a little. But other than that, we didn't get much done yet. Now, what if they have an objection? They counter the minion I play. Would really hate to see an objection on the grain. I guess I can drop a cadaver into that. 
Random card from my hand. Cards in my hand are also pretty good. Really, really do dislike that. I can get Vampiric Blood here, that's nice. I get another Alexandros. Should be fine. The water elemental's fine. His reign ends now. No much is fine. Okay, so far so far nothing bad. We set up the first Alexandros. Kill off that one. Alright. Alexandros number one. Damage starts to tick in. So they had the... They had the Oasis ally. I've not found a soul stealer. That's the eleven damage on the board. That's not too much yet. We can play another Alexandros. And a vampiric blood here. That's fine. Okay, more concoctions. Still no soul soul stealer. I really wanted a soul stealer. One of the main things I wanted was to have a soul stealer. Come on, soul stealer top deck now, please. That could give me a soul stealer. Oh, then we'll just have to do a corpse explosion. Maybe fine. All right, two random things. Fine, fine. Please, no Teotar. No, it's just a Frost from Fury. Fine. No worries so far. Still can't find the Soul Stealer. I mean, eventually I will, right? Oh yeah, they had an Ice Barrier. So not only Oasis ally. I don't particularly want to kill the Mida yet. Let's see. <laughs> Blizzard. How about that? Fun times, fun times. Mm, that's a fun card. Maybe I need to kill the Mida. Do it like this. 
I'll just be able to get get the meter back again. Which is a bit of a bummer. Oh! First draw out of 22 cards. And 21 cards. That's not bad. Well, I have an Asphyxiate, which might be useful. We'll see. Asphyxiate can kill the Mida again here. But it's still fine. Then we have a no Muncher coming. Fix it to kill the Mida. They don't know Muncher. Just going to the face. Oh. That's quite that's quite something. They won one out of twenty one roll and then one out of twenty roll immediately after. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, we have another Asphyxiate here. We'll get rid of the Denatrius. Sadly, this will be destroyed by the Mida. Let's see what Mutinous will find from their hand. A useless trickster. That's sad. That was a sad one. We'll see. Okay, what's the benefit of Shadow stepping the Mida? Getting the Divine Shield back? Is that it? And that's not much. Nastor is nice. Face, face. So, I have Astalor for next turn. What else? What do they have? Nothing. Do I have the corpses for the blood? Not sure. I haven't thought that far. Maybe like a... Maybe like the... Maybe, maybe. Venom was scorpid to get more spell discoveries. That would be an option. So it's just an imp warlock then. But they can still find. They can still find Rafam. The big Rafam can still be dangerous. Big Rafam can still be dangerous. Let's see. This is undead, isn't it? So it's synchro it synergizes with the VC here. Oof, all those imps. That's a lot of imps. The more you struggle, the better. I need to trade this off first. I forgot to do that. Well, that's a bummer. Sorry about that. I of course need to trade that off before, so that I will get the discount. Because now they can buff this by plus two, plus two, and then they won't be hurt by Howling Blast anymore. Maybe not. Well, then it's all fine. No worries, actually. I just Howling Blast that one. And Soulbreaker, one of these. Alright, alright. 
But Rafam can still come. And buff up all the imps. I don't have any tool to kill the Rafam board yet. That's a little annoying. Spell or minion? Which one is it going to be? Spell, yeah. Predictable, I guess. Graveyard Shift can make me fight for the board. Alright, this is fine. Now that one has been spent, so I have the Death Strike, I have the Asphyxiate. Rafam is pretty much the only thing I'm super scared about here. Oh boy. Options, options. Can I get a blood boil or something? Let's see. Well, I can get a no muncher. That's pretty sweet. We're going for that one. No munching time. Thing and of course also have Sire, but that's a fairly new card. It hasn't been there for long, so no, no well infused sires are available. I think this will be fine. Getting so much healing here. Ah, and a soul stealer. How about that? Now they could have the. They still have Rafam. And eventually a sire. So I have 21 damage. They have 22 health. Another soul? I'll just go for it. They're down to one. Like, hero power can kill them next turn. There's just nothing left. Yeah, that's... that's blood. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.